Hello and welcome to another V video. Today we're going to take a look at the Modern Marvel Series 1 Spider-Man drop that happened yesterday. So I'm going to go through the drop, how it went, I'll show you what I managed to pick up, I'll talk a bit about the marketplace prices right now and some predictions for the future. So here's a bit of information about this drop, it's the first Marvel drop, first appearance of Spider-Man, there's a total of 5 collectibles here, common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare and secret rare, pretty high quantity numbers for the common and uncommon, um, surprisingly everything sold out. So uh, the rare, ultra rare and secret rare sold out almost instantly. The uncommon was available for like 2 hours after the drop. The common was available for like the full 24 hours until right before the marketplace opened and I think quite a few Vive whales bought them up so they're all sold out. Um, everything is going for above retail except for the uncommon and common. So we'll take a look at the marketplace prices later but in terms of the collectibles in this drop I think they're all pretty cool. So yeah, I think the, I believe the ultra rare, no the secret rare is basically uh, it's animated, so here's a look at it. It basically it goes into all the different poses. So he'll go into the poses of the common, the uncommon, and the rare. So if you don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money, you can get those in static form. So that's the how the uncommon pose looks like, and the common one from down on the ground. So yeah, this one has uh sound as well as animation. So it's the first Vif NFT with sound and animation. Four hundred gems retail price. It's going for like two point six k now in the marketplace. I think. So here, let's take a look at the animated ultra rare. So this is the other animated Spider-Man available. This one's slightly cheaper at 250 gems. So you don't get sound on this one, but if you tap it, he moves up into his uh, web slinging form, which is pretty nice. Oh yeah, one thing I want to say is that I'm glad that uh, although you're scanning the floor here, like Spider-Man is quite nicely placed on the ceiling with his web stuck onto the ceiling, so that's pretty nice. Here we have the rare. So this is the only one I managed to pick up from the drop. So we can see it's a static pose. It's a nice pose though. Um, I know I've noticed that like with Vive, um, in augmented reality, when I'm taking photos, it's quite blurred. I'm not too sure if it's my phone. I'm using an iPhone XS. Uh, it's quite blurry, but when I'm looking at the collectible close up here, uh, it looks pretty good, pretty detailed. You can see the small, small fine details on his costume. So it's really nice. So this was like hundred gems. There were like nine thousand of them available. And it sold out within like a minute, no, slightly less than a minute, probably like 30 seconds. It wasn't that hard to get. So yeah, glad to get one. It's going for like 145 gems in the marketplace right now. So here are the two serial numbers I picked up. There was a slight mistake with Vive, like, you know, the whole serial numbers, the one they showed on your green card is different from what you actually get. But anyway, like all the serial numbers I got were pretty bad, but never mind. Just glad to get it for retail price, so hopefully they don't mess it up so in the future. Let's take a quick look at the marketplace prices. I took this screen recording about 45 minutes after the marketplace reopened. So you can see the uncommon is going for about retail price, about 51, 52 gems. Lowest I've seen it go was like 46, 47. So I actually bought one for like 46 gems actually, so pretty good deal. Let's take a look at the common. So 40 gems retail, floor price is like 36 right now. I've seen it go to about 32, like the floor price earlier was like 32, 33. So quite a few under 40 gems. I'm pretty sure if you want one, you can get it under retail price. I'll probably get one. Here we have the rare. Floor price is like 148 right now. I think lowest I've seen it go is about 145. So it's been pretty stagnant. Um, yeah, about 145. Here we have the secret rare. Floor price is about 2.7k right now. Lowest I've seen it go is about 2.5. So floor has gone up quite a bit, about 2.6. But of course, it's bound to fluctuate. And finally, here we have the Ultra Rare. The floor price is about 840 right now. Lowest I've seen it go is about 6, 700. So it's stabilizing at about 800-ish right now. As mentioned earlier, this was taken 45 minutes after the marketplace opened. So yeah, price is always going to fluctuate. By the time you watch this video, prices will probably be different. So just monitor the marketplace and find a good deal when you can. Overall, I think this was a good drop. I'm glad we finally got Marvel. We finally got Spider-Man on Vive. Um, although I do hope that in future Marvel drops, it takes a similar format to like, you know, Batman Black and White. You know, having four collectibles, four different designs, that's more interesting, that's my preference for it. Um, animated collectibles are cool, but I think 400 gems retail price is still expensive. Yes, of course, it's going to be profitable in the marketplace, but it's still not a justifiable price increase. Um, I think they're going to do like blind boxes in the future, so that's pretty interesting. So we're seeing like uh, mystery packs of like 15 gems and you don't know what you get inside. I think that's a cool move that's similar to what like Funko is doing on Wax. And yeah, I think that's like tops on Wax as well, so it's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that in the future. 
um, I would definitely say it's worth picking up the common and uncommon if you can get it under retail price. So if the common dips below 30 at some point, I think it's definitely worth getting some. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more VF videos to come soon in the future.